Dear students, welcome to my second class on waves. Today, we are going to have a mathematical description of waves. Waves can be mathematically described using a function and that function is known as wave function. Wave function describes the displacement of the particle of the medium at any position and time. Always it need not be the physical displacement. It can be the amplitudes of electric or magnetic fields as in the case of electromagnetic waves. Then it can also be the probability amplitude as in the case of matter waves, etc. Wave function can be represented using a symbol psi. This symbol psi is used to represent wave function. As wave function is a function of position as well as time, psi is a function of x which is the position and t which is the time. Now we will see how you can represent a wave traveling along a positive x direction. So if you are having a wave traveling along the positive x direction, such a wave can be represented using the function psi which is a function of position and time which will be equal to a function of x minus t if the wave is traveling along positive x direction and if the wave is traveling along a negative x direction then this will be function of x plus vt that is in general the solution of a wave can be or wave function of a wave can be represented as psi of xt is equal to a function of x plus or minus vt so this represents a wave psi is used to represent the wave and which is known as the wave function it is a displacement of the particle of the medium or it need not be the physical displacement as always in the case of electromagnetic waves it can be the amplitude of electric or magnetic field and in the case of matter waves it can be quantum mechanical probability now we are going to derive a differential equation for a one dimensional wave We'll see how we can derive a differential equation for a one-dimensional differential equation for a one-dimensional wave. What is a one-dimensional wave? As I have explained you in the last video that if a wave is propagating along a one-dimensional medium, it is known as a one-dimensional wave. One-dimensional medium means if a wave is propagating along a line, like a wave propagating along a string or a wave propagating along a spring etc uh, such waves are known as one dimensional waves now we are going to derive a one dimensional wave that is if a wave is propagating along positive x axis it can be represented using the function psi of xt is equal to a function of x minus vt where x is a displacement x displacement v is the velocity and t is the Time. Now, now we are going to differentiate this psi with respect to x as well as with respect to t time. Here, psi is psi, the wave function is a function of both position and time. Psi is a function of both position and time means um, if we can take the differential by considering one of the variables as a constant. Since psi depends on two variables, we have to consider one variable as a constant and take the derivative of psi with respect to the other variable. Then that differential is known as partial differential. So we can we cannot take the full differential, we have to take the partial derivative. So firstly, we will take the partial derivative of psi with respect to x, that is dou psi by dou x is equal to a function f first derivative is f dash of x minus vt. Now, we will take the second derivative of this also. That is dou square psi by dou x square. Second derivative, then if we take the second derivative, that, that, that can be represented as f double dash of second derivative of x. f double dash of x minus vt. Here we are using the symbol dou because we are taking the partial derivative. So we cannot use d psi by dx because psi is a function of two variables, position as well as time. Now we can take the derivative of psi with respect to t also. That is dou psi by dou t. That is equal to f dash of x minus dt 
but here p is having a coefficient of minus v so you have to multiply this by minus v then you can take partial derivative second derivative of psi with respect to t as dou square psi by dou t square is equal to f double dash of x minus v t once again this has to be multiplied by minus v that is minus v into minus v becomes plus v square so now we can equate these two equations that is here sorry here you have here we have here we have t itself dou psi by dou t so we can uh, we can equate between these two equations so these two equations what what can you see this dou square psi by dou x square how will you write dou square psi by dou x square equal to f dash of x minus f double dash of x minus vt becomes 1 by v square of dou square psi by dou t square. This is dou square psi by dou t square. This is the one dimensional wave equation. This equation represents the one dimensional wave equation. That is, if a wave is traveling along a one dimensional medium like a string or a spring, etc., such waves can be represented using a second order differential equation of the form dou square psi by dou x square is equal to 1 by v square dou square psi by dou t square. Definitely the solution will be a psi of xt will be equal to function of x minus vt or x plus vt if the wave is traveling along positive x direction and negative x direction respectively. <coughs> now these waves can be represented using periods. These periodic waves can be represented using periodic functions such as sine or cosine functions. So we can use sine and cosine functions which are harmonic functions. So such waves are also known as harmonic waves. Now psi can be represented as psi of xt is equal to sine of k x minus vt or cos of k x minus vt if the wave is traveling along positive x axis. <coughs> now, or cos k of x minus cos k of x minus t. Such, such waves are known as harmonic waves. So, these harmonic waves can be represented using harmonic functions, sine and cosine functions. Here, now, we will explain the concept of wavelength and time period using these equations. So, we will see what, what is the concept of wavelength. First, we will see what is the concept of wavelength. We have psi of xt is equal to a sin a sin k into x minus vt. Sorry, here you have a a, where a represents the amplitude and k x minus vt represents which is the argument of the function represents the phase of the wave. So, psi of xt is equal to a sin k x minus vt. <coughs> now, if you consider this is when this is when this is the wave function when the wave is at a position x. Consider the case when this position becomes x plus 2 pi by k. What will happen when the wave reaches a position such that the position is equal to x plus 2 pi by kt, 2 pi by k, that is psi of x plus 2 pi by k and t is equal to, you have to write here, a sin k into, instead of x, you have to use x plus 2 pi by k minus v into t. So, you can expand this a sin k x plus k into 2 pi by k becomes k and k cancel 2 pi minus t. So, what is this? a sin k x plus 2 pi minus v t or a sin k x minus v t plus 2 pi. You know that sin of 
x is equal to sin of x plus 2 pi. That means this becomes a sin ax minus t. That is same as psi of x t. What can you infer from this? That is the wave function is repeating after a after a distance, after a particular distance of x plus, x plus 2 pi by k or after 2 pi by k, this wave function is repeating. That is, it is periodic with respect to distance of 2 pi by k. This distance of 2 pi by k is known as wavelength of the wave. This 2 pi by k is equal to wavelength which can be represented as lambda or the wavelength lambda is equal to 2 pi by k or k is equal to 2 pi by lambda which is known as the propagation constant. This is known as the propagation constant. We have a new term propagation constant that is k. k is equal to 2 pi by lambda is the propagation constant. It is the space rate of change of phase or the propagation constant is the space rate of change of phase. Now we will see another term that is time period. What is, what will be time period? How can you represent time period from these equations? That is, we will consider the case when psi, we know that psi of xt is equal to a sin kx minus vt. Okay, what will happen after a, what will hap happen after a time period, after a time of t is equal to 2 pi by 2 pi by kv. After time 2 pi by kv, what will be the wave function? Wave function will be equal to x of t plus 2 pi by kv. And we can substitute into this equation a sin k into x minus v into instead of t you have to write t plus 2 pi by kv. What is this? You can expand a sin taking k inside k into x minus k into v into t plus k into v into 2 pi by kv. kv and kv will cancel. Here again you have a 2 pi left. What is this? That This is sin in the form of sin of x plus 2 pi. So sin of x plus 2 pi is same as sin x. That is here also you can write this as equal to a sin kx minus t. Which is same as psi of x t. That is the wave function at x is or at the time t is repeated for a time of t plus 2 pi by kv. That means the wave is periodic with respect to time also. This is known as the time period or this is equal to 2 pi by k 